What's going on guys and we are back for another uh, tech tip video with Bruce Sr. Today we're going to be touching on another thing that a lot of people have been asking me about and that is studs and carbides. Hey guys, I just wanted to chime in here. So this video when me and Bruce started it was originally going to be carbides and studs. It was going to be the whole Woody's line. Bruce got to talking and once he gets to talking you can't get him to stop. So I actually had to split this up. So I apologize if it kind of you see some parts in this video that you see in the next video. So this one is carbides, the next one is studs. So just wanted to kind of clarify that. It was not the plan from the get-go, but that's how it worked out. And if you guys have been here for a while, and I know some of you guys are gonna see this, someone wants to say hi. So, say hi to Nash. But uh, that's it, enjoy the video. If you guys have any questions, put it down there, and the stud video will be out next Tuesday. So. For everyone watching this, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you guys soon. What should they get? How long should they get? You know, what would help with this? What would help with that? How do I know how many studs I need? How, you know, any question that you could potentially have about studs and carbides, we're going to be talking about them today. And we're going to be talking about Woody's in general. Woody's brand is a big supporter of Bruce. They've been partnering up for a very, very long time. I'm excited to jump on board with that and use their products this year. And Bruce is going to be going through pretty much everything that they have that we have available to us right at this moment. So we have a, another beautiful XCR here. We have skis to show you carbides. We have studs to show you. We have everything that we need to know. So Bruce is going to take it from here and kind of tell everyone, you know, what they have to offer. Okay. So... We talked a lot about setup before with, you know, where your weight is and springs and all that other thing. And we, and I did mention in there that it doesn't much matter what you do if you don't have traction or steering control, you're not going to steer. And then, you know, and then the turnability as far as what you're going to use for carbides, you know, how much carbide you actually need um, compared to how you're, how aggressive somebody is if they're just tooling along. The carbide is there for wear, so you don't wear out your skeg that used to be steel back 50 years ago, and and you'd wear it flat and not even know it, you know. So now this gives you that ability where it it doesn't wear that down so quick. It gives you that ability to know, okay, yeah, it's not steering as good as it was before, but you still got a runner. So a lot of these snowmobiles come with four inches of carbide. You know, it's just been a, a common throughout the years. This is your round runner. That's, this is made by Woody's and it's a four inches of carbide. So, and then when it fits in the ski, this one here actually has eight inches on it because it came off of an XCR. An XCR this year, they, they are giving you eight inches of carbide. So this sits in here like that. And you know, it's kind of blended right into the ski here for entrances into the snow. And then this is your rudder. So how it's gonna steer. So your, your common is four inch, the bar is exactly the same. So this is called the host bar. What the diameter of that bar is makes a difference of how much bar you have besides carbide. All of the carbides that go under this pro steer ski, which we've had for a lot of years now, is the same size bar. It's just a matter of how much carbide you want on it. So now the ability to go to say a, an ace bar, which is a rectangular bar, so now when that goes in there, you've got literally a square wall before you get to this carbide and it's deeper. So they, they make this carbide exactly to fit just like this does with, this happens to be a, a, a pair that will fit a CNA ski, right. but they make the same shape so that, that this ACE bar, and that's what they call that, will line right up drop right in just like that, have that easy entryway, and then it'll go right into the square or rectangular metal and give you more rudder in general. So that we sell that 90% of the time. That's what we sell. Um, the, so the, again, carbide is all wear factor. How long is it gonna last before it wears into the steel? When they're brand new, yes. Is this eight inch gonna steer better than a four inch? It certainly is. Once they're dull, there's not a lot of difference between a four inch and an eight inch. The, the, the main difference then is size of host bar because now, okay, my carbide's dull, but I still got a lot of bar to turn. So that's, you know, that's the skinny on what is going to make it turn better. The, the next step you have is 
because people talk about darting all the time. Now, what is darting? So you're going down the trail, the snow is set up. So it's, you know, there, there's a certain snow that's just like darty snow. There's other snow that isn't. So sometimes you won't have darting at dartiness for three, four weeks. And then all of a sudden you go out and you're darting all over the place. And that's because the snow is set up and the grooves that are in the snow that are made from the other snowmobiles, now you're falling into them. And you're falling into this one with that ski, you're falling into that one with that right, ski. Right, so it's going like bing, And, bing, and bing. all of a sudden you're just getting, you're like on a train track, right. you know, and you can't get out of it. And I mean, you can, but it's it's making the the your handlebars go like this. You're trying to correct. When you're trying to correct, it doesn't stop. So what Woody's did is they made what they call a Slim Jim uh, or a uh, dually. This is a Slim Jim because it literally the bars are thinner. Um, a dually, they're very fat. So with this on there, what we get is now we are making our own new kind of groove. So no matter what's down there on the ground, you're making your own groove. It's not going to fall into that. Mm -hmm. So it takes care of almost 100% of darting going to something like this, whether it be... Again, a dually, which is this type of bar, but it's a little fatter and it's got wider pieces on it. It's very heavy though, too. This, um, the Slim Jim makes it, uh, the piece a little bit lighter and it is narrower. So as it goes down the, the trail, it is a lot, um, a lot more suited to slice through it per se. So I'll just cut this one out of here so we can see it better. So yeah. <laughs> So this is what it looks like out of the package. So you have a nice narrow groove. So again, like two rudders. This has six inches of carbide in it. You can get it with the six inch or eight inch. And I think they make it in four. But the amount of metal is there is a lot. And so when it's going down the trail, like a tunnel, it's making that your new groove. So you're not going to, you're not going to dart with that. And um, so that does work very well. The other thing that Woody's makes is a navigator with what they did there and this takes care of a lot of darting not quite as much as this but um the the difference between when you're running say a good set of carbides or a an ace set which is the um uh, the rectangular beefier, yeah. beefier so when you're turning you've got a lot more pushing against it you're not going to slip over the snow um when you put a dually on you basically double your or split your pounds per square inch in half. You know, it's just like having a narrow tire on a car for a snow tire or a wide tire. With this type of thing here, you get a lot more pounds per square inch. So when you're going into the turn and you, in a, and you lean in, you got more bite on one. On two, it's kind of split up. So there's more precise steering with a single runner than with a dually. But a dually in every other aspect is no darting and it does turn very well. The, what Woody's did to kind of give you another option is they gave you what they call a navigator. So this goes in here like this. It is, it goes about right here. You drill a hole right there. So it goes right up through the ski and just sits there. And then we have to drill a hole right here. Now that goes on. And now what that does is similar to what Polaris did with this ski years ago, because this ski was built in 2013. And it was the same ski we use now, which again, it's a, as we talked about skis in another video, it is a good ski, but when it's powdery or loose, you need more rudder, side rudder than these have. But when you go back to this, as far as darting, they, they put this big patch on there. So basically to smooth that snow going down the trail before you made a new groove. Well, it's limited to what that can do. So Woody's put this on. So now this sits here. So now you have that much longer of a pad area that is flattening that snow before it gets to that carbide. So it does take care of a lot of chance of darting. I've got guys that bought these and they're performance guys. They're guys that are out there and they, they want to go as fast as they can around a corner. This does not deter that. Yeah, affect it at all. Yeah, it, it works very well and it doesn't dart. So this is, a, this is inexpensive and it works very well and it lasts a long time. I mean, they're using quarter inch steel and you know, a lot of the wear is in this area, not in this area anyway. So mm -hmm. that, that piece can last past sets of carbides easily. So that works really well. Um, so length of carbide, size of rudder, has a lot to do with it. And we went over the darting. There's one more carbide that we don't have yet. We're supposed to have any time from Woody's. And that is what they call a Maverick. 
and it is a, a square carbide. We're excited for this. Yeah, we want that. <laughs> so it's a carbide that will that is square edged like this, but they cut a groove in the side of it. So when you're trying to turn like this, so you're you know you're going around a corner trying to turn it, you're trying to pile that snow right here, and you don't want it to move. You want the ski to go. You don't want the snow to go. So they put another groove in this to to cut that snow to help pack it and stop it so you can turn so it's been that'll that should be really good i mean this ace worked really well used it for since it came out which it's got to be four or five years now but this will be the next level of that yeah yeah so we're whenever that does come that's what bruce is going to be running that's what i'll be running is that maverick once we get it and now length you could have four inch six, six, six inch three inch Three inch, four inch, six inch, or eight inch, or eight inch. Okay, yeah. yeah. So there, there, are, there also is ten inch. I mean, you can get this carbide on on uh, CNA stuff with, with a ten, ten inch. inch. Yeah. I mean, that's you don't need that much carbide for the trail. Again, it it on a trail it's going to dull up quickly, so it becomes more wear, just more wear factor before you're going to get into the host bar. Right. When we're racing and we're using ten inch all the time. The carbide stays a lot nicer a lot longer because we're supposedly in snow a lot more we're not crossing the roads we're not running it up the trailer um going across the parking lot you know so that kind of thing with carbide well that's why it's there it's a wear factor but it does dull them quickly so everyone asking i mean it's you know we can only point you in the direction we can only give you what options are available and the at the end of the day it's going to be your call as to how much bite you want how much wear factor you want and and how you want your sled to act. But yeah. that is the options that Woody's, you know, supplies for, again, and they make everything that they make for the, the stock ski for the CNA. Yeah, yeah, the CNA, they, uh, there is a round runner still for the CNA. Very rarely do I ever buy that. It's usually always an ace for a CNA because if somebody's buying that ski, they want to turn. Yeah. The, you know, they don't care the effort or anything because you do gain a little effort when you go to the square edge bar as far as, um, how easy or how hard it is to turn. The Polariski still does turn easily, though. That mm -hmm. shorter keel, in, and again, more pounds per square inch, it turns easier than something that's long mm -hmm. and spread across. Right. So, lots of options from Woody's with carbides. It's just, you pick your poison. Their website has a lot of really good, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say tutorials, but, you know, they do give a lot of information it, on yeah, what, I'm trying to... what you should use, uh, what they call trail performance or, you know, somebody that, it, say, trail performance in the center, racing on the other side, just trail on the other side. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of your span. Right. And then to combine with that is studs. Really everything that we could think of to, to give you guys as much knowledge to make, you know, an educated decision of to what you guys are going to put in your sled for this upcoming season so if you haven't gotten your sled look on woody's you know online check out what they have watch the video once or twice and and learn everything that we had to say and and you know make your choice and go from there and have your parts ready and waiting for you when the sled comes in but uh that is going to do it for this video guys if you have any questions as always put them in the comments i will get back to you if i can't answer it bruce will give me an answer but uh make sure to like make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one